welcome and thank you for being here tonight. We are going to have a series of questions accompanied with a series of hot wings. The questions are gonna get tougher and the wings are gonna get much hotter. Now, I would like to welcome on stage Raja Kadori and Jim Keller. industry has long lived Moore's Law, but I'm forever hearing about how Moore's Law is dead. So, is it dead or not? And are you a follower of Moore's Law? It's definitely not dead. We have to act like it, design for it, and live it. And then it turns out that's a self-fulfilling prophecy to make it true. We have said at Intel that we will put security first. What does it mean to you in your positions at Intel and what are you able to do about security? The chips are getting more complicated. The, the pieces that go together, as we put them together, it creates more attack surfaces. We've been thinking about you know, collaborating with the whole industry on how we secure. What is your favorite tier in the memory storage hierarchy? My favorite level hierarchy is when the, the solution says I need this much capacity and this much bandwidth, period. That would be a proper level hierarchy. So level your favorite tier of memory is I want one tier of memory. I want one giant memory no that will tiers give me my memory. data. Raja, now you're working on another unified architecture, this time in software. What is it all about and how is Intel going to actually make this happen? It's a necessary thing to do. We need a hardware software contract at a different level of abstraction for us to be able to do all of the scale, solve all of the compute problems that are ahead of us. And that's kind of you know, the, the gist of an API. Um, so it's not just an Intel thing to do, it is an industry thing to do. As a memory person, I think of Interconnect as chip to chip, I think of memory bus, but when you come to Intel, it means something much, much broader than that. Can you give us an idea of the scope of Intel's offering and what is so hot about Interconnect right now? <laughs> so I remember like when we did like 33 megahertz and 100 megahertz mm -hmm. and each level was hard, right? So how are we going to get to 266? And I kept thinking like what's different? Like what's going on? Like if it was a hard at 100, why is it a gigabit? Like that's like a no brainer, right? I think the laws of physics are changing. That's my only explanation. <laughs> hey, guess what uh, can make PCIe Gen 3 look like PCIe Gen 4? Software. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Gentlemen. What is your dream architecture? Somewhere somebody does a calculation where they <laughs> care about the answer. What's their A game? Mole add units. So what would be the perfect computer? Nothing but mole add units. <laughs> yeah, my dream architecture to be able to deliver Ooh. an interesting mix of scalar vector matrix hardware. You know, I'll go for this. Oh! Oh. <laughs> I have to do the best one. <laughs> Oh, Thanks. this is hot. This is freaking hot. <laughs> you okay? I'm okay. You okay. Come on, get a picture. I've never seen this one. 